good day friends it is me HL Mod Tech and I am back with another 3D printing project so let's get cracking friends we're on my website hlmodtech.com I've got a tab dedicated to 3D printers and of course today we're going to be working with the Soval SV6 now I saw that there is a new firmware so let me show you where it is and let me show you how to install it friends we want to come all the way across to support and we want to find document download notice as we scroll down there is a brand new firmware on the 24th of February 2023 it has got information for how to install it and it's got the bin I'm gonna start by downloading the bin I'm gonna just save it in my downloads folder and then let's quickly open the dock inside this firmware we've got improved auto leveling there is a function to save the Z offset automatically adjust to the driver of the motors we activated the sensorless back off millimeter function which reduces the risk of hitting X or Y axis and according to customer suggestions they changed G28 XY to G27 so the bed moves forward when the design is finished to update it we simply put it on the card with nothing else on it and when the machine is turned off insert the card after powering it on it'll be blue for a short time that'll mean the firmware is being flashed and the logo will be displayed on the screen shut down take the card out and the firmware will be complete they also mentioned if it doesn't flash successfully take out the card rename it to firmware.bin on a pc and then try the flash again if that fails we can repeat to rename the firmware and name it randomly and then finally make sure our card is fat32 with 4096 allocation size all right so let's plug in the sd card you can see mine has an old firmware this was actually for a different 3d printer i'm going to delete that so now it does not have any firmware files on it and here we can see that bin and I'm simply gonna drop it on the USB drive now let's safely eject and take it over to the 3d printer of course step one is to insert the card the machine is powered off alrighty so let's power it on and see what this looks like There's that logo that pops up. And boom, it appears ready. Let's go through the menu and go see if we can find a about. And if we do printer info, you can see that we've got the 200A firmware. Alrighty friends, so let's actually use this. We'll do print for media. Let's scroll down and find that real simple cube. Hit print and see what we make. Alrighty, so let's speed this up to 10x speed. As you can see, it is smooth as can be. Everything's working just like we'd expect. And then at the end, we'll get to see that G27 where it pushes the bed out to the front. that is pretty darn awesome friends of course if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL mod tech don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me HL mod tech thanks for watching have a great day